Meanwhile, the Iowa caucuses are just a week away, and right now GOP candidates are trying to close in on frontrunner former President Donald Trump after he campaigned in the state on the third anniversary of the January 6th attacks. NBC's Drew Petrimo is following it all from Washington. This is the final full week of campaigning in Iowa, and the candidates are hard at work trying to sway voters. President Biden is taking aim at the frontrunner, former President Trump, as campaign season ramps up. Well, Countdown to the caucuses in Iowa. Republican candidates crisscrossing the state, making their pitch to voters. We're in this to revive who we are as a country. But make no mistake, um, you know, we've got a mission and we've got to complete this mission. The candidates chasing Donald Trump, far and away the front runner in polls, trying to steer voters away from the embattled former president who remains popular within the Republican Party. I think President Trump was the right president at the right time. I agree with a lot of his policies. But rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. It's going to be really a tremendous victory in Iowa. Mr. Trump also on the campaign trail in Iowa over the weekend, calling for the release of January 6 prisoners, labeling them hostages, and downplaying the day's deadly events. They indicted me because I fought against a corrupt election. I got indicted. President Biden heading to Charleston, South Carolina today to speak at the Mother Emanuel Church, where nine black worshipers were gunned down by a white supremacist in 2015. It's part of Biden's push to highlight threats from the far right and continuing to focus on Trump's actions after the 2020 election. It was among the worst derelictions of duty by a president in American history. An attempt to overturn a free and fair election by force and violence. The battle lines being drawn as voters prepare to weigh in for the first time of the 2024 election. Trump is expected to be in court here in Washington tomorrow. His lawyers are set to argue he's immune from prosecution on charges he illegally tried to overturn the 2020 election. That argument was rejected by a federal court and will now be heard by an appellate court. The case is likely to end up at the U.S. Supreme Court. In Washington, Drew Petromo, NBC News.